Masturbation is amazing, and I think everyone should do it. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Ganowski, sexologist and sex coach for men. And in this video, I wanna talk about the importance of pairing masturbation with visualization and how it can change your sex life drastically for the better. I've helped a client with delayed ejaculation who struggled with it for 17 years, primarily using masturbation as a tool, helped him overcome DE in less than four months. It was insane. I've had a client struggling with premature ejaculation his entire marriage and working with him for a few months using mindful masturbation, healthy techniques has helped him no longer struggle with PE and know exactly what each arousal phase he's at to have total mind body awareness and control. So he doesn't struggle with PE. Using this as a technique, meaning masturbation paired with visualization means you're not just mindlessly watching porn and just jerking off just to get it over with, or just to like do it after a long day and just not have to think about it. That's when most guys tend to do it. And and based on my experience, that's not good to get into a habit of doing it that way because if you do it that way, where you're mindless about it and you're not paying attention to your body, you're bringing in those habits to your next partner, all right? So it's not that you can't jerk off mindlessly ever, but if you're doing it the majority of the time, you will bring those habits into your partner relationships. And then you will struggle because you won't be present and maybe your partner's like, you're never present with me, I don't feel connected. Or you lose control over your dick and then experience dick related issues that then leads to anxiety, right? And that's because you're not mindful during your solo practice. So by using visualization, you're actually creating the mental imagery. You're creating ideas around your desires and around your ideal sex experiences that create this body mind connection of I'm controlling this thought and I'm controlling where I take my arousal with it. So you're hyper aware and this actually leads to more pleasure guys. In the beginning, it might feel like, oh, this takes a lot of work. I feel like it takes so much more energy. Cause I've definitely heard that from guys. Like, in the beginning, it's not as relaxing cause you're not zoned out mindlessly. You're actually paying attention. You're putting thought and effort into changing the way you're masturbating. So that's gonna take a little bit more energy. But once you get used to it, it's so much more pleasurable. The orgasms I hear are so much more intense and enjoyable. Um, that's something I hear again and again when I have clients do this. It's gonna benefit you during creating a better solo sex experience and then also with your partners. And they're actually gonna enjoy you more and see you as a better lover too. If you wanna actually be great at sex and be seen as being great at sex, even though I don't promote performance, I know that that's important to you guys. And this is what it takes, being intentional during your own practice and being mindful so that you could be mindful with your partner and be very in tune with what's going on. So to use visualization can be as simple as writing out a list of your desires and ideal sex experiences. So just getting really clear on like, all right, if she was to ask me, I want to make this all about you, what do you want to do? What would your answer be? A lot of guys can't answer that because they go into sex thinking all about their female partner and not really about themselves and therefore not exploring different areas of their body to see what really turns them on. And they don't try new things and this is all often a cause of DE, delayed ejaculation, is you're just so out of tune with your own body because you're so hyper-focused on her. So it's no longer this mutual experience together. It's more of a pressure of I have to perform for her. So if we can get rid of all that and keep the visuals of what do I want and what does a mutually fun, sexy time look like and start attaching that to you getting aroused, then you're much more likely to feel so connected with your partner, to have more fun with your partner, to have more more stress-free sex. So you want to really get into a habit of being mindful during your masturbation practice. And something that I created to help you guys do this are my sex meditations. Some of them are jerk off instruction and some are just thought provoking questions to help you understand your desires, your body and your sex life on a deeper level. So I will leave that in the description of this episode so you could check it out if you wanna sign up. And it is just overall important for you to be more aware of your own body so that you could be more connected with your partner and feel less pressure and more pleasure during sex. So I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one.